Oh, is this the crack that we went down? Oh, okay. Didn't like the sound of that. Oh, yeah, we saw worms down here. Please don't eat me. Horrible worms. I don't like you. God, where were they? I'm sure we saw like loads of worms last time we were here. Ooh, that's like a big old lump of rocks. Oh, this is... Okay, right, I can see why they built this here. Very cool environment. I like these, the mushrooms. Very stylish. Very, uh, very chic. Oh, I see them. Worms. God, danger. Danger noodles. Jelly shroom. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay, do you have any good stuff for me? Nuclear reactor? Bam. Uh, when has nuclear energy ever gone wrong? Do I want to be on the surface? No, sir. Not the um, last place, but we had to immediately go and repair the thing. Why didn't we scan their reactors? They're like hyperdrive reactors or something. God, I bet things those things are efficient. Whereas instead we're stuck down here in a cave full of just disgusting worms. Um, and... Having to risk being killed. Okay, see baby. God, let me in. Okay, how are we getting into this? I want you nice and close. Maybe with a little bit of illumination. What are you? Thermal plant. Okay, that could be good. Geothermal. Man, very, very reliable. Very sustainable. Geothermal. Man, that is like the good power. Very cool. Oh, I guess I am not going in there. Or in there. How do I deal with the jellies? We're in. Ow. Where is the entrance to this bad boy? Oh god, the the snakes are snaking around over there. Not super chill. God, that one just like ate a fish. Uh, which is probably fine. Moon pool. Ooh. Okay, that sounds fun. Like, have like a pool, you sit in it, look at the moon, like very relaxing. Um, have a romantic evening, sipping, sipping wine, looking at the moon. Oh my god, and not getting eaten by worms is... What is going on? What are you? Stasis rifle. Ah, <gasps> yes, sir. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Okay, there's no way the worm will attack this, right? God, they're big. But would he attack me? No. Oh my god, he just like slid down that thing. That mushroom. God. Um. Okay, well, let's park you pretty close. Are we going to be able to get in there? Um, Drooper. Hate them. What are you? Are you going to do something? I feel like they're going to gonna attack me as I go in. Uh, maybe not. Um, water filtration machine. Oh shit, that sounds perfect. Well, I hate that noise. I really don't like that noise. Um, oh, abandoned PDA. Ooh, okay. Right, what's your name? Torg. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. Ow. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. 
are my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, a mortal. A maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever not that the Ghazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. 30 seconds. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Oxygen. Oh my god. Stabilizing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me out. Who? Uh, was that everything? Oh my god. Oh my god. Bitey, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, we just bumped him. Uh, okay, right, we picked up more PDA stuff. Oh my god, there's so much, like... Maybe we're supposed to have been looking at these, um... Signals before. Before we just, like, sailed around, like, a ton. Um... What was this? Bartle Torgs, Stalker Something Teeth. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering. But I didn't have enough enameled glass. So... I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with Ooh. just a heat blade. Jesus. And went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other... Well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Oh! Jeez, probably not good for the spaceship. Uh, I mean, sea, sea ship? The sea baby? Whatever we're calling it. God, sometimes I forget that we're underwater. Okay, right. Uh, we picked up a whole load of stuff. Oh, sorry, dude. Um, wow, okay. I definitely don't share that guy's feelings about, like, isn't it such a shame that we have to kill stuff? Uh, blah, 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 blah. And I'm here just, like, joyriding around. Oh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh man, I wonder what happens if you go inside his house. Oh, I bet there's hot loot in there. Oh! Jesus. Friend. Well, not friend. Can I run him over? Oh my god. Oh my god, he almost destroyed me. Uh. Wow. Okay. Probably that isn't the way to do it. Do we have to come back with the gun? Maybe is the answer. Right. Uh, I think we are going to get the hell out of here. Oh, shit. Just bonked into something. Um, hot loot? Anyone? Hot loot? Hot loot for me? No. How do I get out? Okay, it was definitely a good call not to try and swim down here. Um... That would have ended very badly. Yeah, like when, like I would never have been able to explore that that like base. I'd have had like a light, tiny look inside and then instantly died from 
Um, no, no air. Although, God, now. Um, not gonna lie. Kinda lost. And I don't want worms for friends. I hate them now. I hope there's not, like, a bigger worm. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Get out of the water! If we see a really big mushroom, remind me, stay away from big mushroom. Oh, that looks like an exit. Oh, thank God. It's been over four months since I last saw sunlight. I'm so happy. Oh. Father's not being very cool. He's not letting me play by Nintendo. Oh, loot. What are you? Bio reactor. Um, I don't think we can have that yet. Oh, okay, we do have it. What is it? Titanium? I've got titanium. Come on, see baby. We're out here. Okay, where's the house? Um, bam. Oh, that's like a big old piece of ship. What is that? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. Oh man, while we're here, we should probably scan everything we can. He's beginning to believe. I need to keep a vague idea of where Sea Baby is. As when we're this deep. Oh, there you are. God, like it kind of blends in a little bit. Come on, Sea Baby. Are you scannables? Oh, what was that? Oh, Sea Baby. <laughs> he crashed into me. That's not fair. No, we're supposed to crash into other fish. Uh, I feel like we got pretty good loot. Um, let's go home. Um, I miss, I miss home. On the road again. I can't wait to be back on the road again. Driving around with my fishy friends. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh, wow, just zero remorse. Um, you know what? I guess it's fair. I, I kind of think that if some big thing is going to eat me, fair play. Because I'm bigger than other stuff and I'm going to eat them. And that is the... Uh, that is exactly how I'd want to go. Um, seeing as I've eaten loads of you, just have your own, have your own go. Uh, have your own, own good times. Status. Okay. Oh, new radios. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Oh, God. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Uh, where are they? Beacons. What beacons don't I care about? Number three. Have you been there? I've put three in the shallows. Uh, yeah. Located in an area dense with red grass near a number of natural arches and rocks. 400 meters northwest of LifePod 4's last no location. How do I tell which way northwest is? Oh, I don't know. Get out of here. Um, what's he doing? Just sat there in the air. Let's build a gun. Seek fluid intake. Oh shit, we're thirsty. Uh, I will not eat the fish. Disgusting. Disgusting! Uh, right, you get out of there. And while we have a think about what we're gonna do... Uh, yeah, we should make a base. Um, do we just make it, like, here? Where we are? Is there, like, a better place to do it? Uh, we'll worry about that pod. I'm pretty sure they're already dead. We've already been fucking around for, like, two weeks in this game. Um, either they've been eaten or something has gone wrong. Um... Yeah, let's, let's just, like, build some stuff. Hi, everyone. Guess what happened to me today? That's right. Tom murdered me. People find these voices funny. I do not. Every voice is one of my friends that Tom has murdered. Please press like to stop this massacre on innocent fish like myself. Bye.